Hey guys, so today I am going to work on a sticker organization project. Basically I have a bunch of Happy Planner sticker books, like the seasonal ones and also the like regular ones that you can get um, from Michaels kind of easily. I've been accumulating these and I just feel like although they're kind of neatly organized in a drawer, I'm not using them because I don't see them. And with my stickers, I find that I have to be able to see them or flip through them in order to use them. So I googled some ways to work on organizing these sticker books and what I found was creating your own sticker book. So there's a couple of ways to make a sticker book. You can either take an old Happy Planner um, and make a sticker book using that, which is what I'm gonna do, or you can buy the Happy Planner punch. Now, I don't own a Happy Planner that I use regularly, so buying a punch to me wasn't economical. There was really no reason, aside from making a sticker book, that I would need an actual punch. So I am going to use an old Happy Planner. I also bought dividers because you can use the cover from your planner if you'd rather use that, but it's a little bit larger than the sticker pages and that bo that would bother me if like this whole space right here was just like empty because the, the sticker sheet's only gonna come to about right here so that would bother me. So these little dividers are actually pretty much the same size as the sticker books. So I'm gonna use the dividers as covers. So there's four dividers in here so it can give you a front and a back and also if you wanted to divide them up at all you can use the additional two. The other thing you'll need is an expander um, ring set. If you have a lot of sticker books, most likely the ones, the, the rings that come on your heavy planner won't be able to handle that many sticker sheets. So I got the expander ones just because I know I have quite a few sticker books. I also am using my adhesive roller, and this was purchased on Amazon for around $5. And then I am just using a paper trimmer. So most of the stuff I had laying around, I had an extra happy planner, I had all my sticker books and my adhesive roller. The only things that I really brought were the divider, dividers and the expander rings. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just take your sticker books and kind of pull these pages out of the binding. Now, typically I do not like to disassemble sticker books or like, repurpose things like this because I'm always afraid that I'm not going to like the outcome or like it's kind of a permanent decision to pull these out. Once you kind of unbind them, you can't really bind them again. But the way I thought about it with this is that I, I'm not using, I mean none of these are used yet and it's because I can't see them. So I think that this will be a more functional way of using my Happy Planner stickers. And I can also take out sheets that I might not use um, to bring the, some of the bulk down. Like, I'm, I typically don't keep track of my steps, so this one may be a sheet that I might not add to my sticker book. So, although it is kind of a permanent way of disassembling a sticker book, I still think that it's worth it because it'll be functional and I will start using these sticker books so they won't just be sitting inside of a desk drawer anymore. All right, so now you can see all of my sticker sheets are out. I just had the empty casing from the original binding. I'm gonna toss this, there's no use for it for me. And I am going to go through and kind of take all of these out and then I will come back and show you what the next step is. All right guys, so I disassembled all of my me and my big ideas, Happy Planner sticker book. So what I'm gonna go do right now is go through and just kind of weed out sticker sheets that I know I'm probably not gonna use. Most of them I will use, but there's a few in here that I may not use and I don't want the sticker book to be like massive to the point where I'm not using it. So I'm gonna flip through each one of the books, pull out the ones that I won't use and then kind of organize them, you know, all by checklists or decorative stickers or full boxes or functional versus decorative, that kind of thing. I'm just gonna organize them how it makes sense in my brain. All right, so I went through and weeded out the ones that I didn't think that I would be using. I was left with a stack that's about that thick and I think that that will be able to fit inside of one sticker book with the expander um, rings, but we'll see. If I need to, I always have the rings for my current Happy Planner to use for a second sticker book. The stickers that I did take out are great stickers. There's nothing wrong with them. Most of them are completely unused. They're just 
either stickers that I have duplicates of or maybe just aren't functional for me. So what I was thinking is I could give these away to you guys if you want them. There's maybe about 20 sheets in here or so. Um, and if you're interested in them, comment below. You don't have to put your address or anything below, but just comment below and then I'll pick a winner and mail these out to you. Um, and if possible, we're gonna keep this giveaway US only. Um, I'll try and do an international giveaway soon, but for US only, and they're, like I said, they are torn out of a sticker book, so some of the tops are a little bit um, tattered, but great sticker sheets. Like I said, nothing wrong with them, just stickers that either I have doubles of or I won't use myself. Again, it left me with probably about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of stickers, and there's a ton of just, I mean, I love these stickers, and going through them, I'm like, oh my God, why did I not? use more of these like I mean the new the seasonal ones are new to me so those wouldn't be used yet anyways but there's a lot of super super cute and functional stickers like these checklists and stuff and although I do use an Erin Condren they will still work inside of my life planner I don't you don't have to have a happy planner to be using this all right, so the way that I am avoiding having to buy a hole punch is I'm taking a happy planner that I reviewed, but decided not to stick with as my regular planner. I'm gonna take that and kind of use the sticker pages inside of it as basically like cardstock for my sticker sheet. So I'll leave like the first ones with the calendar in there maybe, or maybe I'll pull them out, I don't know. But the idea of it is you're going to put your sticker sheet down I'm going to use my adhesive roller. Now, personally, I'm just gonna use a couple at the top, a couple at the bottom, or maybe just down the side, because I'm not 100% sure that this is a sticker, like that this is going to be functional for me. It's, it's new to me, but I, I think it'll work, but just in case it doesn't, I don't wanna have a bunch of sticky stuff on the back, so I'm gonna use a minimal amount of this to secure them down. If I find that once I'm using them, the pages are getting tattered or, you know, coming undone, I can always add more, but for right now, I wanna keep it minimal so that if I ever did wanna pull these back apart, I could easily do that without having a bunch of sticky stuff on the back. All right, so like I said, you're just going to go ahead and line them up. I'm going to use the beginning of the week or the beginning of Thursday to kind of be my guideline of where I want to secure it down. That way I know they kind of all stop at the same spot over here and I tested it with the divider and that gives me enough room for the sticker sheet to be covered by the divider but still give me that guideline of where to lay my sticker sheet down so that they don't all end up all jagged on this side. You know, if you start some over here or some too far in, they won't all end at the same page. And yes, I am neurotic enough to care about that stuff like that. So what I think I'll do is just kind of go through and do the first page with you. So what you're gonna wanna do is just take out your happy planner pages. You can take them out all at once. I'm just doing this one so that you guys kind of get the idea behind it. Again, I am going to use the line on the page to line it up and then make sure it's lined across the top. I am going to go ahead and just do a couple of little adhesive roller marks right down the sides. Line it up using that guideline right there and I'm gonna line it up on the top portion as well. And then just kind of push that down. And then I'm gonna take my page trimmer, and line it up so that I am cutting off the excess. And then you have, this is gonna be garbage. You have your sticker sheet, and then you are gonna have, depending on how many sticker sheets you have, quite a few of these. All right guys, so my sticker book is complete. I decided to go with a pink cover, and on the back I have the clear cover. It is a thick sticker book, and this is not with my holiday sticker book included. I decided I wanted to make this a separate sticker book. Number one, because I ran out of pages, but number two, this is already pretty thick enough to where if I, if I add any more, it might just get too bulky, too hard to turn the page, and the whole purpose of this is keeping it nice and easy and functional. So tomorrow I'm gonna run to Michael's and get some more of just, I'm not gonna get another Happy Planner, I'm just gonna get the Happy Planner pages, which you can buy separately. I think they're like $4.99 for a pack of, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 sheets, and I have coupons for Michael's, so it'll end up being not much at all, and I have my rings from the original Happy Planner that I can use, because it'll be a smaller book. 
So, so far I really like it. So just to go over some things that I learned along the way, um, I decided to not do on all of them front and back. These, these all have front and back, but on most of them I used just the front page and that is because I'm not 100% sure that this is going to work for me. I've done sticker books in the past where I've used adhesive all over the back and then decided that that wasn't a, a, a way of organization that was functional for me. So I just wanted to add a little bit of sticker, you know, like adhesive tape on the back until I'm sure that this is something that will work for me. Once it does work for me, I can always tuck my um, adhesive roller in the back and just kind of run some more adhesive. If I decided it wasn't working, I could take this page out, trim this part off, and then still have a relatively thin sticker sheet to put into like an accordion file or something like that if I need to. I was nervous about not having cardstock behind the sticker sheets because I wasn't sure if the weight of the Happy Planner paper would be able to hold the weight of the sticker sheet, but so far so good. I'm gonna try and use this as much as possible, and then when I am kind of get the feeling of if it's working, if it's durable, I will update you guys when I film my sticker storage for all of my stickers that I have. That's going to be coming up soon, hopefully, because I know you guys have been asking for it for a while. But I want to kind of give this a test drive, see if it works, and let you guys know how it looks. But so far, so good. I, I feel like I've already, like as I was going through these, was just kind of like, oh my god, I didn't even know I had these stickers. And I'm already thinking of ways to use them. So I'm excited to have them in one place where I can just rifle through them. This is again something that might be good for somebody who travels or you know if you have these sticker books and you work outside of the home you can make a sticker book like this, leave it at work and that way it's not all of your stickers but it's a good selection of different types, decorative and functional to have on hand. I definitely did use the larger rings and that was because I had a lot of sticker books. If you didn't have as many sticker books as I do, you could easily get away with the smaller rings. If you do have a Happy Planner, it is definitely cheaper to repurpose the Happy Planner and one thing that I like about the Happy Planner is having that line right there for a gui guideline so that all of my sheets are pretty much the same size and I don't have to worry about weird edges or measuring things. It was nice to have that as a guideline. And then one more thing, I went through and pulled out even more sticker sheets that I'm not going to be using and also some dividers. I don't know if that's useful to anybody, but I was going to kind of do this as a package kind of giveaway. If you're interested in winning this package, just comment below with how you store your stickers, whether you did the same thing I did or maybe you store them completely different. I'm always open to new sticker storage suggestions, so I would love to hear that. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like the video if you like these types of videos and don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.